Hey guys, okay, this is going to be a very different video than I normally do. Uh, this is going to be a very negative video. So if you do not want to see an extremely negative video, then I suggest clicking the up Xbox right now. I do not want any nasty comments or I will block you. I am not in any kind of mood. Um, uh, I usually do really positive stuff. I've already had my breakdown today with my good friend Trisha Pro Makeup Artist. I called her because I basically was so upset. Um, I do not have makeup on barely at all today. I have a little bit of eyeliner and that's about it because I just wanted to come on and do this video. I just want to make sure this doesn't happen to other people. I'm tired of being walked on. I don't understand why being a really nice person, you know, a giving person gives like the bad people around the right to just walk all over you. I seriously don't. I'm not gonna, I, I was like, I'm not gonna cry in this video because I am just already, already so, so upset. Okay, so back in May, uh, Megan's Makeup, what is it? Megan's Makeup 101, which I considered a really good friend of mine. I talked to her just about every day. Decided we were gonna do a swap together because we um, uh, saw so many other people probably doing swaps. I don't know. That was what it was for for me. I saw so many people doing swaps and I just wanted to do a swap. I had so many people say they were going to do a swap with me and never did. And she was finally the one person that said that she was going to do a swap. And I should have known better. I had a gut feeling. I just did, but I didn't go with my gut feeling. So, um, so we decided that this swap wasn't going to be like, um, you just kind of pick out random products and put in that we were going to actually suggest products. Um, so in the, the, the email, she, um, suggested to me that she was Mac NDW, NDW 15 to 20, and that she wanted the brands Mac Benefit Tart, Urban Decay, Makeup Forever. She wanted some highlighters, blushes, palettes, nail polishes. Um, she like, uh, she didn't have much of Benefit or Tart Makeup or Makeup Forever. So that'd be nice. Also some BB cream, which I ended up getting her also. Um... But we were going to pick out like specific products that we actually wanted and the specific brands and they could pick from those, you know, brands. I um, said I was more NDW on summer 2025, that I didn't have a lot of MAC and that I wanted to try more MAC than anything else, um, especially the eyeshadows. I mean, I'm just going by um, emails, right? I mean, uh, YouTube messages back and forth because we messaged back and forth for a really, really, really long time. Um, that I was looking for blushes, eyeshadows, that I liked really dramatic colors, because you guys know for that. I wanted to try out Sugar Pill, because, you know, and we were, I mean, this is back in May. We had months to get together, a month, at least May, and we had at least a month or so to get everything together. Um, Cosmetic Tarte also was another favorite of mine, and that I'm not a nail person. I, I'm going to be honest, no nail polish. I do not like nail polish as much as anything else. I'm a mom. I don't invest the time of doing my nails so I just don't get nail polishes unless it's something like magical I didn't want to get nail polishes I said no nail polishes please um, skin time for mine was normal combination uh, I would love Mac Lorac Urban Decay um, I'd like nude lipsticks and, or pinks like snob by Mac they may know snob by Mac it's kind of like a Barbie pink um, no reds no nothing like that I do not wear those colors if anybody's ever seen my videos Obviously, she had not seen any of my videos. Uh, we decided around 100 to 150. Um, I ended up spending, I sent her the box already, and I ended up spending close to 190, but I said 175. I couldn't spend any less because of the brands that she wanted. I really consider this a real swap. So I um, purchased um, Urban Decay, the new palette that they have that you can clip the, the eyeshadows in. Uh, then I bought her all the new eyeshadows for it, which are $18 each. I bought her a nail kit. I bought her Mac. I bought her nail stuff from, um, cause she wanted nail polishes from Sephora. I spent a lot of money. I wrapped it. I like put it all, like my daughter helped me and we put stickers all over it. It was really, really pretty. Um, and then I sent it and I was super excited. This is the first swap. I got my package today, and it's right here. It's right here. Looks like this box. 
And so what I'll do is I will kind of lean down the camera a little bit so that you guys can actually see what I got in the box. Okay, so this is like basically how the box came. It had two paper things on the top. Um, the, the, everything was out of the box. Everything was out of this tissue paper. The tissue paper had like hair on it. Um, it was like dirty. Um, it was just like a mess all over. Also, everything that she got me had broke or whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna take that stuff out. Uh, starting with a whole bunch of bath stuff that I actually already have this stuff. Um, it's a cheap brand. You can just get it. I actually can't use it. I just use it for designer because I'm, I have sensitive skin. Um, I never asked for any kind of bath products. I got the three of the bath products from um, in vanilla something. Some secret wonderland. I don't even know what this is. Um, it looks like some of it had dumped out also. Um, then it's some, some cap for something. It's one of the other things. As you can tell, I asked for no nail polishes, and I've got one, two, three, four. I got a Hot Topic, Hot Tickets. I, I don't even know. As you can tell, my hands are already getting really, really filthy. Um, I've got three different kinds of nail polishes. I don't really, this one's Zoya, which in the pink is kind of nice, but I asked for no nail polishes. I just am not a nail polish girl. Um, the Elf looks like this. It is dirty as all could be. Um, I'm going to try to open it for you guys. It is clearly just completely used. Um, you can tell by the applicator. It's just disgusting. Um, I did, we did mention no drugstore products. We specifically, um, you know, like said products. I got this, uh, three of these mineral hygienics. I have no idea what these are. I don't, I didn't ask for any of these either. Um, I don't even, I, I know they're like a mineralized makeup. Um, I never use mineralized makeups. Um, I asked for pinks. This is the first red. And as you can tell, um, somebody's already used it. And it is in the color um, 911D by Wet n Wild. Um, this is the NYX. This one was probably the thing that broke everywhere that is just messy. This was in black. I already have NYX in black, so I didn't ask for any drugstore. I got two nail poly two lipsticks in studio gear. I guess you sell that at Ulta. I don't even know. I don't go to Ulta. Hold on, I'm going to try to um, open these up for you so I can show you guys the colors because, I mean, this is the point of the video. This was in Paprika, which is this color, which is a red red, which I don't use reds at all. I, I don't like red on me. It doesn't look good. This one is in Cafe a Latte, I think, or something. I, I, I'll be honest, I don't even care. I'm so pissed. And it's like a brown. I guess you can consider that maybe a nude, nudish brown color. It's really like a cocoa color. It's dark. It's right here. I put it on my thumb. It's a dark kind of cocoa-ish color. And then I got, that was it, for all the makeup that I asked for in Urban Decay and everything, I got a Everyday Encouragement Journal, um, and then this letter that says, snap, yay, don't open until you read everything, then it says, Hi, I hope you love everything and try it all out. The book and the uh, bath stuff I thought was nice. Uh, you can relax in the bath and write in your book or wake up every morning and write in it. This is so fun. DM me when you are done opening everything. XO Megan. Megan's Makeup 101. Now, if you, you know, like, watch the beginning of my video, you would understand that I did ask for no, no, of, um, no nail polishes. 
um, that I want to try out eyeshadows. I got one used eyeshadow and one NYX eyeshadow. Wet and Wild, all the colors were wrong. Um, bath products, which I never even asked for bath products. I don't ask for bath products because my skin is so sensitive. It'd be just no point in asking. And I got this. This is supposed to be around $150, which I know in, is not ever even around that. Okay. Okay, so I'm back. Anyways. So that was the unboxing. As you can tell, my hands are completely just like filthy from just even touching that for like the fourth time. Um, that's Megan right now just um, telling me to just like dot to ship her stuff back um, just to like throw it out and stuff like that. Um, because if she doesn't want me to do this video, obviously, um, which, you know, if you didn't do a video, if you sh scammed somebody, obviously you wouldn't want a video done like this. I mean, it's obvious. You wouldn't want it. The reason why I'm doing the video is because I use my hard-earned money, convinced my husband, who, you know, I get a lot of makeup. I am a freelance makeup artist. I do not do it for a living, so I don't have discounts. Use my hard-earned money to go out with a list which I would love to be able to find my Sephora bag and show you the, the the receipts to all the stuff that I had gotten for her because I was very, very specific about bringing a note, her color. I went to Mac, had the ladies help me out. I got some of the new stellar collection for her and to get that in return to, it's so upsetting because I just feel like, I just feel like this is just like how it's been for me on YouTube. I just feel like this is how it's been. Like companies, people, it's like because I am a nice person, people just walk all over you and just, you know, you, I, I don't even know who to trust. I don't even know if I wanna continue doing YouTube. Like seriously, do I wanna even continue doing YouTube? I'm not having any fun with the fact that, you know, when I do videos, people complain about lighting or I don't have fun when I get products from companies and, you know, they lie and cheat. And I don't have fun doing swaps with people who take your products and then just run. I mean, obviously she said she'd send my stuff back um, because I said, you know, it, I, I, I definitely told her off on Twitter today because I was in shock. So I did say something to her about it because... I know she's sending me another box that's supposed to have more nail polishes and Ardell lashes in it. And it's like, I, so I guess what had happened is she, instead of asking me for the last couple weeks, she lost my, my thing. Cause it wasn't really important to her as it was, it wasn't important to her. So she kind of like just threw a whole bunch of stuff together, just like whatever here. And for me, I just wanted to take it really serious and be like, I want to get somebody something that they would, you know, really be able to tre tre treasure. I want to have a good name on myself, about myself on YouTube. I want to be a good person. I'm going to get exactly what she would want and maybe she couldn't afford. And I even added in more stuff and went over the budget because I would do unto others as you want done unto yourself. That's why. And so I had a breakdown to Trisha Pro Makeup Artist this morning because she's one of my good friends on here that I actually can trust. And she is one of the persons that convinced me to do this video because she's like, this just can't even happen. Um, she contacted me as well about a swap. And um, I don't know, I'm just so upset. I'm pissed. I'm upset. I, I, I'm considering not doing YouTube anymore. Like over these stupid little things. I'm just, as you video, as you can tell, my videos have just like dwindled. It's like, okay guys, like when people first start off on YouTube, their lighting isn't going to be perfect. Okay. This is the way it is. I'm not, I don't have 300,000 subscribers that my lighting's absolutely wonderful and I'm getting paid. Okay. It doesn't work like that. You know, you eventually grow and then, you know. It's like, you know, you get these people that come on here and complain, like when I'm doing makeup tutorials or makeup things. That's why I stopped doing um, eye tutorials is because of how many complaints I would get about like lighting and I couldn't see this or that. And I'm just like, you know what? Then just click the, uh, the X button 
and they just kind of discourage you. And so I just started doing different videos and trying to figure out where my place was. And then I was doing outfit of the days and people were like, oh my God, your boobs are so big and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I'm sorry, you don't have implants like I do. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Like I have implants. So if you don't want to watch my video with my implants, then you can just go somewhere else. That's it. I mean, it's easy as that. Um, so I got that and, um, you know, it just, it, it just started going from there and there. And so I just, I, I started to stop using YouTube as much because I was just so sick and tired of it. And the point is, is that I talk to Megan just about every day. So it's a hurtful thing. It's hurtful that a friend would do this to me. Um, she didn't want me to do the video, but I had to because this can't happen. Maybe she's doing this with other people, you know, like, I don't know. She's contacted my other friend. So I had to put a video up. Uh, I would love for her to put the video up of what I gave her. I would love it. Because I was super generous, caring. I mean, and this wasn't a swap that we were just like, you know, well, you just whatever you like, whatever I like. So I've seen those swap too. This was a specific swap. We asked for specific products and this, I didn't get anything. I didn't get anything at all. And I feel so taken advantage of and used. And I'm so tired of being taken advantage of and used. You know, like I really am. I just am tired of it. So if anybody knows Megan's for Makeup 101, you can tell her thank you for, you know, being such a nice person and using me and taking advantage.